said that a guy went into court and the judge says you only have a four-man jury, but the law is it not? You have twelve men. Depends on the case. No, it, depends. it depends on the case. It depends depends by on overall law or Colorado law, law. Or, or how does it work? A a felony could a felony uh, a felony charge is twelve. A um, a misdemeanor is twelve. Uh, traffic non misdemeanor is six, and sometimes three. Sometimes so it depends. It really depends on the nature of the charge that dictates the number of the of the jury. And that's that's kind of a different subject for another day. But uh, if, if we're going to stay founded in just fundamental principles, um, we've got to figure out a way to to erect a barrier to stop this move toward absolute despotism. And so my position and the one that I will be fighting the rest of my life, I'm sure to my wife's humiliation and disgrace is um, simple traffic tickets <laughs> and road closures, road reopenings, and IRS. And the banks. And the banks. And eventually, I'd like to see a racketeering lawsuit brought against the judges. Yes, ma'am? Well, it seems that, it, from what I understand, it's they, the federal government has to sell the federal lands to Whoever they, they have to sell them. Is it possible for Colorado to force the sale of federal lands to the state of Colorado to get them back under their control? That's what Kid Ivory is attempting to do, uh, actually. But he's gone. He, he, yes, the answer is yes. Yes, and the but the legislature. Here's the problem: it's the entangled it's the entangled web that. Colorado has entered into so many compacts and subsidies and grants. It's so intertwined that to do this would be to destroy everything. So we're really there. It's so messed up. I'm not sure this thing can be salvaged. We may be looking at just withdrawing our consent, letting this thing collapse, getting on the other side and rebuilding. But we have to do that locally. We can't do that anywhere else except where we live. Well, that's the only way to fix it. So I think, I, I think realistically, I think that may be the way to do it. So, so, but if we, if, if I can continue to, to be that fly in the ointment and, and uh, challenge the courts and see if we can somehow maybe remove some of these judges from office, send a message back upstream that Nuremberg is waiting you because remember, there was judges hung at Nuremberg. How many know what the Nuremberg trials were? Okay, okay. For those of you that don't, after World War II, the officers of the army and the and the judges were put on trial for war crimes committed under Adolf Hitler. Right. Crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity. They were convicted and hung by the International Nuremberg War Trial court. All right. These judges are heading real quick down this road. If we continue down this road and this government moves toward genocide, which it right now is rattling the saber down that direction, these judges will be the ones that implement that. If we can, if we can anticipate that that's where it's going, because it likely is where it's going, because if you read history, that's where the national evolution of government goes. If we can get in there and challenge the judicial system, and, and, and make a big enough issue stink within that judicial system, it's possible, it's possible maybe on the outside chance to commandeer the judiciary and win it back. If we could get, that's the weak link in this formula. If we could get the judiciary back, then I think that's our chance, but that's the only chance we have is the courts. The only chance for nonviolent remedy is to stop cooperating and get brought before the tribunals, get brought before the courts and stand there and see if we make our argument. That's where we make our stand. And that's, uh, that's the remedy that I suggest. And so that's my presentation for the evening. Thanks for listening. Any other questions? Or
certain day, and I wonder if you would comment on that. Well, Colorado had a bill, uh, House Bill, Senate Bill 148, I believe. Uh, I don't, don't quote me on that. Colorado had a bill. We're going to be submitting another bill next legislative session, same one. If our objective this time around is to get the entire western slope moving in that same direction and see the uh, eastern slope to knowledge, we want to get a bill similar to what Ken I put through in Utah. So we have people to carry it. Now we just need the people to get behind it. Now it's been signed in Utah. Yes. Block it in every way possible. I have no idea. Isn't there a big, there's a big decision coming down the pipeline? Is there I don't know if it's November. We'll keep you apprised on that point. Thank you for listening. And uh, it's awesome. Yeah, man. It's entertaining and informative. Always. No man, that's my wife. You can find it online though. It's easy to find. I got this. I got this. I got this on uh, Amazon. Easy. Yeah, I had it with the storm. Yes, you absolutely need this. Absolutely, it's absolutely required. Yeah, I was just going to skim and Okay, you know this, this, this is we're about to be done. This is I think we're going to have a new So what else is part of the share? Well, I hope to be able to hold it. That resolution will be the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Tyler Neal. Thank you for watching right now. I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I would absolutely love that. I love the vibe and stuff. Because I represent a lot of the candidates. I don't have one